Yo guys, welcome back to the channel, or if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today I'm bringing you guys another story time video from an old series that I wanted to begin and be more consistent with called Dopey Tales. If you're unfamiliar, you just don't remember. Basically, it's a series where I want to tell stories from my childhood or adolescence all the way up to high school that I believe that are just funny or hilarious for me to just recall on and tell. Sorry if my voice sounds kind of weird. For some reason, my throat is kind of itchy and it just feels like there's a lot of phlegm clogged up inside of it. But without further ado, let me tell you guys about the time that I ran out the shower and stepped on glass on the floor. So this happened when I was younger. To give a little backstory as a kid, for some reason I didn't really like to take showers, which sounds really disgusting. For some reason, whenever my parents would tell me to take a shower, I'd get really mad. And I guess I just like to be a stinky kid or just musty, which was like terrible. But on this particular day, for some reason, I don't remember if I was doing anything in particular. Maybe I was just playing games and my mom told me to go take a shower and I just got really mad for some reason. I don't really recall on why but i just remember i was fuming and i went to the restroom to go take a shower obviously and we had glass doors at the time that slid so you would just slide it open and enter and then close it back up so that way the water doesn't splash out of the tub so i took off my clothes and i went inside instead of just sliding it how i usually did for some reason i decided it was a good idea to slam the the glass door and as soon as I did that, all of the glass just came shattering down on top of me and entered the tub and outside of the tub. One of the shards cut a part of my knee and I still have the scar from when that happened. But as soon as the glass broke, I immediately stepped out of the tub and I ran outside the bathroom just going to my room and my parents heard what happened so they obviously came to check it out. However, I was kind of scared because I was bleeding from my knee and also I was having some type of pain every single time I stepped with my left foot on my heel. And what had happened was, was I stepped on a piece of glass and it was stuck in my heel and I was bleeding from it. So from that, my mom had to clean up the glass by sweeping it up and throwing it away. And even after that, I still had to take a shower. So not only did I break the glass and hurt myself, but I still had to take a shower, which was why I was mad and I dreaded. So either way, I just lost all in all that night. The next morning I woke up and when I was getting ready and walking towards the car to go to school, I was still receiving that really bad pain in my heel. However, I didn't say anything to my parents and I just went to school trying to play it off as if nothing was going on and I tried to ignore it but however throughout that whole day I was still receiving that pain each time I stepped on it so when I went home I told my parents about it and they said the next day they would take me to the hospital to see where the glass was that was giving me the pain in my foot so we went to the hospital the next day and when we checked in they were doing x-rays and stuff on my foot and when they showed me the x-ray the piece of glass was actually stuck in my heel a little deep but not all the way where they had to surgically remove it or whatever or cut open my foot i did have to stay on top of a on one of the doctor sheets that they place over the beds and i had to lay down on my stomach while a doctor was pulling at the glass at the end of my foot and my heel with tiny pliers and it really hurt and i remember the doctor was just trying to get my mind off of it and telling my mother to just talk to me to somewhat distract me and i kind of remember laughing back on it now because i was talking to my mom about the amazing world of gumball since that was one of my favorite shows at the time and since she's not really a native speaker when it comes to english it was just weird trying to explain it to her and i can tell she didn't really understand but she was just playing it off as she did to just make me feel better and when the doctor was done pulling the glass out of my leg he put it in a plastic baggie and he showed it to me and it was all orange and i guess that was from the blood which was kind of nasty but at the same time kind of cool and and I remember him letting me keep it after we left the doctor's office. I don't think I have that piece of glass anymore, but I just remember keeping it. I also had a shirt that was an x-ray of a foot. And I remember lying to my friends saying that that was actually my x-ray of my foot where they were showing me the glass. And I think I remember pointing like at a spec saying that was the glass because I wanted to seem cool, I guess. But now thinking back at it, it was kind of lame. However, from that day on, basically, I just remember not to let my anger get out and especially not to 
use excessive force on glass since it will obviously shatter on you. I was a dumb kid, but I guess now I'm a little better. I wouldn't really say there's a moral to the story. However, I guess just to keep your anger in check. And obviously now I like to take showers. Obviously I don't like to be musty as I did when I was a kid, but I guess all kids around a very young age for some reason like to be dirty because they think it's funny. But yeah, that's the end of the story. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like the video and you want to see more. However, other than that, I hope everyone has a safe, wonderful day and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.